In the previous video on this channel, I showed you how to create 3D text, making it look like that text is coming through fog. I didn't have a ton of time to spend on the fog, so in this video, I wanna show you how to create an animated fog background. So let's call this something like underscore, underscore, main, and 1920, 1080, 30 frames per second, that all looks good. Okay, so now what I wanna do is right click in a blank spot here, go to new, go to solid. The color doesn't really matter, but let's call this fog base. Great. Now what I wanna do is put a ramp in here. So just type in ramp, you'll find under, under generate, gradient ramp, drop that onto our layer. As fog kind of goes up and blends into the sky, it usually gets lighter the higher it is. So I'm gonna hit swap colors. You can go with these colors or you can go in and uh, make things look a little bit more stylized. I'm gonna go with kind of a lightish blue at the top. At the bottom, maybe a darker uh, purplish color. Okay, maybe a little bit less saturated, somewhere around there. I'm not locked into these colors because I know as I make changes, I'll possibly come back in here later and shift colors around. So twirling that up, I now wanna add a fractal noise. So fractal, type that in there under noise and grain. You got fractal noise, drop that onto your layer or even into your effects window. The first thing is we can't see our colors anymore. So I'm gonna go to normal and set this to add. And now we've got something that is really bright. So I'm gonna take the brightness down and you'll see as I'm doing that, parts of this image are starting to clip and I don't want that. So looking at this area here, this eight, bits per channel. I want to option or alt click that. It says 16. Click it one more time. It says 32. And now we could see the full range of values, which is what we want. This doesn't look great at this scale here. So I'm going to go to transform, expand that out, bring this scale up. So we've scaled it up and I don't really like this fractal type of basic. I'm going to click on that, set this to dynamic twist. And okay, so that's looking a little bit more interesting. I think I'm gonna scale it up a little bit more. So as we do that, it, it's getting the shapes that I want, but it doesn't have the detail that I want. So I'm gonna go to complexity, drag this up. All right, I think you can go as high as about 20. That's about as high as we can get. I could even maybe scale it up a bit more to get the look that I want. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's got some nice shapes, got some nice complexity, but it's not overly detailed. It's getting a little blown out here at the top, so I just need to take the brightness down a little bit more and I could adjust the contrast. I'm gonna go with that. Fog, I probably would be a little bit more subtle, but just for display purposes, uh, I'll keep it where it's at. And now if these areas at the bottom are a little too dark, just go back up, collapse this, expand the gradient. We can go to this color, fix some of these problems up by brightening that a bit there. Again, if this is too bright, you can do the same thing. Obviously, if you don't like the colors, how they're looking, you got complete control. Okay, let's collapse our gradient ramp and expand our fractal noise. Going down here, I can option or alt click the evolution stopwatch and we've got this part here. Let's type time asterisk. Let's try 10, be subtle if we can. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. You don't want your fog moving too quickly and I am happy with that result. Now we can make it kind of flow along the ground, go up or down, and we can make our adjustments under this offset turbulence. Option click that stopwatch. And for this one, I need two values. I'm gonna type in open bracket, close bracket, then left arrow. X, I can make zero comma y, and our y will be time asterisk 20. Let's try that, see what we got. Okay, so we, we kinda got a slow downwards movement added, and if you wanna side to side, just switch these numbers around. This, I'll do a copy, and then I'll type zero. I'll go in here, paste that. Let's make this 50, just to see what it's doing a little bit faster. Okay, I like this. We're kinda getting this rolling fog. You can go into any of these other settings. I kind of like spline. That gives a bit of a wispier look. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, there's only so far we can go with this. So 
I want to add more distortion and I want to use a displacement map for that. Let's scroll up here and collapse this layer and I'm going to duplicate it. So command D and let's call this one fog displace. DISP is good enough. And I'm going to turn this layer off and take a look at our displacement layer. Let's see what we can do here. We could change fractal type. Let's go with um, just regular old dynamic noise type. Let's switch this to soft linear. Let's go into some of the settings. I'm gonna take complexity down because it's always my goal to not have too much complexity if possible and that'll help keep render times faster. So maybe, maybe that's good enough. We could take a look at brightness, contrast. I really don't even think we need this gradient ramp anymore. That's probably going to help because now we'll focus on just black and white values. Bring the brightness up a bit. It's moving in in the same direction as the original. That's good, but let's add some variety here. Let's select this layer. I'm going to press EE really fast two times. Let's set this to a lower value, 20. Let's take the evolution, make that 40. Okay, so now more than moving, this is just kind of creating this billowing effect. And I think that's good. But as I look at it here, these dark parts are pretty dark. I don't really want things to get so flat black. What I'm going to do is bring bring the either brightness up or contrast down. Yeah, I think that looks good. Bring the contrast down so these really bright overexposed areas are gone. Just get it to the point where it's not too white, not too dark, something in the middle. Okay, so I think this will work. This is kind of like the billowing that I want and this will add a nice counter to what we have ready. So this one, we turn the eyeball off. This one, we turn the eyeball on and we have to add displacement to this layer. So let's collapse this, collapse this. Under distort, we've got this displacement map and I'll drag this in here. All right, now we got to tell it, pick this layer two fog displacement. So do that layer two fog displacement and we need to tell it look at the effects and i'll sit, set this to luminance and this to luminance and now let's start to bring this number up now see if you bring it too high you're going to start to lose your edge there so if i hit this wrap around here it's not perfect but it'll help and i'm going to do the same thing on this so if if I'm pushing it up and I don't like that, I'll push it in the other direction. To avoid showing these edges, you just scale this layer up a little bit. Press S, scale this up. Okay, so this is what we end up with. We got an, a nice rolling fog effect and that displacement helps to add a little bit of detail. Now what you could do is you can make copies of this, Command D, and these two, click one, drag up, and then they're going to be right next to each other. Let's hide both of these and then this one up here so we got this fog and we're going to displace it with this layer here so we just got to make sure this is all set up correctly so this layer it's a fractal noise it's got its displacement i want layer one to look at layer two so let's switch that and then this one here layer three i want that to look at layer four which it is already and that's good now i would just go in and make some some changes quickly so the easiest way to do that is to find your fractal noise here and go to evolution options, change this random seed to any number. You could see you get a totally different look. I could, I could go with that. I could also go into this displacement layer here and find the fractal noise, find the evolution options. Let's just turn this on so we could see what we're looking at. Change this random seed. You're going to get a totally different look. You could also come in here and do things like invert this, uh, change change some settings here, change uh, complexity if you want. We can go and adjust the scale. You don't want to go too crazy with it, but some subtle changes will help. Okay, so now let's turn this off. Let's turn this one on. Let's turn this one on. Now we can't see this one, so let's go in here and take a look at some of our different blend modes. Make sure that you see both of these clicked on and you'll be able to view your blend mode settings. Overlay, we could try that. That's gonna add more contrast. Uh, we could try some crazy ones like difference. Now this is um, kind of draining all the colors out. Um, soft light might be another one worth looking at. But you could see now we got these layered on top of each other. Okay, so now you got some wispy rolling ground fog type stuff that would look really nice with the previous tutorial that I made about putting 3D text inside a fog.